lunchtime and I'm on my way to the post office with a big bag of parcels to send. How are you all today? I'm a very happy person because it's Friday. Got a busy weekend plan. Got various things to do tomorrow. Haircuts for Ivy and I. Uh, to pick up a prescription. Want to go somewhere nice and seasonal if we can for a bit. And then um, on Sunday, it's uh, mine and Ivy's trip to Meadowhall, which is a big shopping centre mall type place with um, lots of lovely shops. Last year, Ivy asked for money for her birthday um, and then went shopping, clothes shopping with her money, which she absolutely loved and asked to do it again this year, which is lovely because she needs some new clothes. She's grown like a weed. She's so tall, it's ridiculous. Um, and her feet have grown as well again. She's <laughs> 11 on Monday and she's got an adult size 8 foot so 8 UK I don't know what that I think that's a 42 Europe European sizes but I don't know how that equates to a US sizes anyway she's got the same size feet as a mother I'm 5 foot 11 <laughs> and she's 5 foot 5 so and with incredibly long legs so I usually have to buy her ladies jeans and trousers now so she had a pair of new dungarees the other day. They were a ladies size 8 UK sizes. Um, so yes, she's going to be shopping on Sunday with me. Johnny and Cosmo are going to go off into Sheffield to a museum or something, I think, while we go shop, shop, shopping. Oh dear, it's busy in here today. Why are all the people here? I hope it's not too busy in the post office. Well, there's a space here I can snag, that's not a problem. Okay. Right, let's go and post these parcels. friends it's after work I've picked up two children from school one of them is mine the other one is somebody else's and one of my children is at somebody else's house again so I'm just having a chill while Cosmo is at his friend's house and Ivy and her friend are playing very nicely together so here I am sat in the front room with my knitting and my tablet watching some podcasts with my pretty tree lights on and being very glad it's Friday afternoon. Also, my orange leaves arrived in the post. Look how pretty. Oak leaves. They don't have any wire in them at all, so I shall have to wire these up and get some of these into my wreath, probably tomorrow. Earlier when I said I was going to be um, doing lots of jobs tomorrow, what I omitted to say was lots of advent work as well because I've got to get those out early next week. They'll be going in the post, so I've got lots of that to do over the next few days. But obviously I won't be able to share that. 
Anyway, these leaves, look, there's a right variety of sizes. I'm not sure I'll use the biggest ones in it. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe I can tuck some of them more underneath the other foliage just so you get a little bit of colour coming through. Anyway, I'll set the camera up later when I decide to do that and share that with you. Well, that was a very fast hour and a half of relaxing and knitting. <laughs> Isn't it funny? How time flies so fast when you're enjoying yourself. Off I go to get the small and squealy boy. But the nice news is I'm not making tea tonight. Johnny's making them and he's making these fa famous and wonderful burgers. So I'm looking forward to that and I've even got the posh brioche GF buns, cobs for putting the burgers in which is extra yummy and delicious. I've been hankering after a proper autumn Halloween style mug. I don't know why this has just popped into my head right now. I was thinking about it earlier. I do know why. Because I've just been watching um, Lindsay's Vlogtober over at Simply Serving. She's got this really cute sort of enamel coated tin mug that says sweater weather on it. And it reminded me, which is lovely, and it reminded me of another one that I'd seen which was orange and it said Crazy Pumpkin Lady on it. On someone else's vlog or video. Now, I've looked everywhere for a cute Halloween-y, autumn-y mug this year and I haven't found one that was attractive or appealing to me. Over in the States they always have loads of really cute stuff like that. Why don't we have a bit more of that here in the UK? I wish I knew. I'm not sure Happy Fall Y'all would quite suit me because I, can't, I just can't pull that off. But I wouldn't mind Crazy Pumpkin Lady. Not at all. It would suit me very well. Be extremely appropriate, I would say. Anyway, the light is fading fast. Oh, how autumnal it feels. me for any length of time you'll recognize this here pinafore dress i've had it donkeys it's from dotty perks as we call it or dorothy perkins which is a british ladies clothing brand and it's a very decent quality thing and i really want a new denim pinafore dress because i like dark denim but I do like the fit of this one. I just don't really like the washed out denim thing. I mean, I've worn and washed and worn and washed and worn and washed this. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Apart from, you know, it's starting to get a bit of wear on the edge of the pockets and that. But I think denim looks better when it's a bit worn anyway. So, in a bid to save money and the environment, to a certain degree at least, I've got myself a dye egg. Dylon jeans blue. Um, I've never used one of these before. I've done denim blue dye before, but when it used to come in a box, and I don't seem to be able to get that anymore. It has to come in plastic, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pop it on now and see how it comes out. I'll show you tomorrow. I do like dark indigo denim. Let's see what I can do. Well, I'm quite cross about with this, really, because. For a start, the thing's completely wrapped in plastic. And then you've got all this plastic. Peel a lid off. And you know what's in there? The dye powder and salt. And when you used to get it in a box, you simply weighed out your own salt and put the salt and the powder directly in the, the washing machine. All this plastic waste. I mean, I haven't even checked. I can't check now. I'll have to check when it comes out to see if it's recyclable. Are you really telling me it's too difficult to weigh out a bit of blooming table salt and bug it in your washing machine? Come on, Dylon. I like you. Don't disappoint me. Let's see how it works. 
I do hope you can hear me on top of that silly egg thumping about in the washing machine. I need to get right here so that I can rest my arm. Don't worry about that glare, we're going to move it in a minute. This is for Ali of Little Drops of Wonderful, who was talking yesterday about Vermont. And I told her in messages underneath her, comments underneath her video, that we went on honeymoon there. And then I realised that my um, album of honeymoon photos was on my work desk. I'm not sure why. I think we looked at it early in lockdown together. <laughs> And in the first week we were in Vermont, look, look at the daft pair of us. Look at me! I was 28 there. Oh my goodness. This will be our 12th wedding anniversary. That's what a nice colour my hair used to be. But I just wanted to show a few pictures of Vermont in the autumn. Obviously autumn is a very special time for us. It's not only the time that we got married, but the time that Ivy was born. That's when we went on a walk up Bear Mountain, I believe it was called. And that's the Adirondack Mountains in the distance, so going down toward, da uh, south down towards New York. I'm trying to see, what, oh yes, that, that's an even better view. Just look at that view. Incredible more of the same let me flick a couple forward oh we had snow in october look look at the snowiness so pretty this was in a really lovely little town called woodstock whom i now follow on instagram because it's so pretty and in woodstock they have like the ultimate sleepy hollow covered bridge look how pretty oh it's really quite a, this was a, a walk called the Dally Loop Trail. Are you impressed that I can remember that 12 years since? Shame I can't remember things that happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah, look, oh, there we go. Dally Loop Trailhead. I'm trying to find a couple of pictures of the cabin that we stayed in as well. Uh, oh, look, look at the colour. Oh my gosh, oh, I wouldn't give to go back there again. Look at that sugar maple that Johnny stood under. It's glowing. Gorgeous. I'll just show you a couple more. I want to try and find... <laughs> Even then I was obsessed. Look at that. I'd love to be able to recreate something like that. If I ever find enough pumpkins... <laughs> uh, I want to skip forward a little bit to find oh look at that, a Dutch barn that had a restaurant in it that was gorgeous and the food, I had clam chowder ah so we stayed in this cabin in the woods just the two of us, look how massive it is and I've got a photograph of it at night as well. Uh, oh, here we go. Look! It's like a Christmas card. So pretty. I'll just show you one more thing when I can find it. I believe that's a chickadee. I got that shot and I couldn't believe I did it. It was a total fluke. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this was the most enormous pumpkin I've ever carved. Um, and I bought it from a farm stand. Now, hopefully tomorrow we're going to go to um, a pumpkin patch, which will be a close second to buying an actual pumpkin from an actual American farm stand. <laughs> And this is Indian corn, and that still comes out every year. And it sits on top of our piano now. And after we spent a week in Vermont, we went on to New York, and these were some of the displays on the streets of New York. But I'm going to leave it at that for now. I just thought I should share a few pictures for Ali's benefit, if no one else's.